So when we have a website and it happens to be on WordPress, you may or may not have what's known as a staging site. And that's a place where you can test new features. You can test uh, making significant changes to the features on your website. And so web hosts don't always offer that environment. So you're going to need another method of doing this. In today's video, I'm going to help you with migrating your website from live or production to staging or a testing environment. I'm going to give you a link in the description. The software is local by Flywheel. So go ahead and download that if you're interested and you can follow along with me. The other plugin we're going to use is called all-in-one migration and it's going to help us package up your site so that we can have the one file that we download and then upload into our testing environment. So let's dive in. So I want to migrate my production site over to local by Flywheel because I want to test something out and I don't want to do it on a live site, even though you happen to be looking at a demo site. It, um, it's just a workflow that is highly recommended if your current uh, web hosting service doesn't include a staging site doesn't include a testing environment, then you can use this workflow to test things out. So the first thing you're going to do is go over into your plugins area and add a new plugin. And this one is called All-in-One Migration. So it should pop up for you and then you install that and activate and then you're going to go in and export and I like to include the database um, And I know that um, the links are going to need to get updated. So I'm going to call the new site in local fondue rest dot local. And I'll explain what that means in a moment. All right, so I'm going to export this and I'm going to export it as a file. And then when it's ready, you download your file. So once your file has been downloaded, then You'll go over to Local by Flywheel, and um, I'll have a link in the description for you to download the software to your desktop computer. And uh, so I'm going to create a new site, and I'm going to call this Fondue Resto. We'll go with preferred settings. Now this here for local by flywheel is not really that critical. Just as long as it's something simple, you'll be fine. So now it's creating the site, installing WordPress for us, and it always goes with the most recent released version of WordPress. All right, so once your site is installed, then you can go into your WordPress admin. And log in using those credentials you set up. So 
So you can see here where it's the name of the site dot local. All right. And so now I obviously need the all in one plugin here so that I can import it. All right, so installed, activated, and then I can import and import from file. All right, so once that's all done, I've overwritten the database, everything is good. Then the um, everything that was there on production should be here. Just got to log back in. Oh, right. So obviously here, um, because I overwrote the database, I have to use the the same user information that I had on production. So I'll just go grab the password. All right. There you go. So yeah, so um, just to clarify, so within users, right, that user here, that was on the production site. So when I overwrote the database, it also replaced my original username password that I had for the original install and now I've got the exact same user that I had on the production site. So you can see I've got my custom posts there, I've got my pages, so it's the exact duplicate of what I had on the production site. So this is now ready for me to test and I don't have to worry about breaking something on my live site. So that is it. I hope that was helpful. So I hope you found that helpful. And for today, I would love to hear your questions in the comments below. So I'll see you there.